One song to go before the one we haven't heard yet, man. I'm so excited. Yeah, this entire EP has been mind blowing as fuck so far. It's showing that entire range, man. So I'm just gonna focus 20 minutes because of. Oh, yeah, sure. You go. Oh, it's five minutes as well, Winter. Sorry. Oh, it's almost poetic, I don't know. That's cool. More, more either devour length, but still. I'm excited. Okay, let me focus on this one, and then we'll move on them. Oh yeah, we get the sexy violins on this one. My favourite violin bits of all of music, man. Fucking arch enemy on violins, man. What more do you need, man? Someone's actually played the violin, but that would be super sick as well to be honest. I would love for them to tour it. Like, like America over here, that would be so amazing. Just for four songs. And obviously they will pick off like Sineshti and this is Bonnie Simon. And here I thought my voice wasn't dead enough from yesterday's show. This album is taking like so much. But you know what? It's fucking worth it at the end of the day, man. Honestly, I think my voice suits when my voice is a little bit destroyed because it goes a little bit deeper, <laughs> to be honest. But um, it's into number one, which is premonition. Sunset before plague and pestilence. Gnawing their tongues with nails and teeth. So like, you know, just going like, like into their tongues and nails and teeth. <clears throat> And so on and such forth. Anguish and vindication for their fate. Beneath the blackened sky. Legions of vice and decay gather and march forth. It's like, yeah, it's literally like, you know, legions of vice just turn into like monstrosities and they are just marching. The ever frost rising from the depths. The dead shall soon roam the earth. Like everything is going to shit. The gods are basically dead at this point. The dead are rising. The ice is turning against you. Everything is turning into Armageddon. Number two, the siege. I abide by the chaos we uphold. Execute thy will and thy liege. Like you're going up against like the gods and all the, and kings and whatever the fuck else is there, right? Watch one of the gods go forth, sound your horn. The final sun to rise before your death is foretold. Beyond the walls of this fortress, beyond this chaos shield, the twilight of the gods awaits. Like yeah, this is the final moon, the final sun, whichever way that the gods will ever be. As now Ragnarok is here, man, like the ice is coming for you. Everything is coming for you. Just this untold bastion of pure death, destruction, hatred, everything coming through. It has arrived. The skies will weep with blood. 
the final stage of mankind are now at hand. We shall meet at the fields of warfare, where claw will clash against steel. So yeah, so we have the gods being destroyed, and then it's also that's also teetering away from that and moving down into humanity. And I imagine it's like the frost and everything else, just obliterating everything, not just like the gods, but everything. But yeah. Let's keep us fucking <laughs>
The gates open wide, all rounds run and high, take up arms and fight, rise my army of death. So, like, yeah, it goes through the Norse gods, going into every other realm, going into, like, the Greek mythology, into the Christian mythology, into all the fucking mythologies, man, to everything, to all of humanity, to every possible way, shape, form you can imagine. You reclaim your home, at last bring forth the end. And then it's like, the wolf, don't you come near. His sickness has told his burrow is cold and still he trots. Like the wolf, like I'm assuming, I know, I, know there, I know there are great wolves in Norse mythology. I don't know enough about it to really go through it fully, but like wolf don't you come near, his hunger is tearing and he cannot bear it, but suddenly trots. Leper without a cure, crippled stillborn. Lifetimes of tragedy, my natural core. Like yeah, like it's almost like the wolf is incorporating in the main characters, the one destroying everything's personality in a sense. And then we enter Ash, a kingdom consumed by flames, by divine obliteration. Darkness reigns as palaces burn and oceans run red. Only Ash shall remain. That's just like one of the best lines ever written in Death Call. Like no one can tell me otherwise. Like honestly, have you ever heard like of like like a four lines of like um, lyrics in the song be that fucking influential? Be that crazy? Be like. I like allow your mind to work that well, man. Just holy shit, man! The final strife, oh gods of yore, plunged into ice, sunk through the water, an angel, an ageless winter endures, slicing through the skin, remorseless purging of life, libertine lust, bastard of flesh. You will now end. Like everything is gone, man. The gods are gone. Humanity is wiped off the fucking planet, and of course, we now have winter to come. But still, one more time with this. Oh shit. I just love the imagery, man. The imagery makes me is just so crazy, isn't it? This bit always gets me, always shows, always, always shows. Doesn't matter how many times I fucking hear it. Because all these rats on, but only three songs do, man. That's how fucking insane this album is, I think. That blare's crazy, too, man. All the blares one. Every single one. Oh fuck man, I'm so excited for winter. It's gonna be me be fucking crazy by the looks of it.
Winchester aftermath mantle. Solo is sick to him. Everything is sick. I never need to say shit, man. You can hear it. You know what I mean. But I'm calling it now. My kids are going to show up during winter, and I'm going to have to go and get out. Oh man, maybe. I hope not. Though. I'll make sure to go into winter cooking. Wait, if they do, just let me know. I'll pause. It's not a bit of it. Oh my god. <laughs> what horns? I'm so confused. What? So ominous. Oh yeah. Oh man, I forgot about the hit. French horn to the background, coming into... Oh yeah, no, you're right. Sorry, I, I got totally confused. I thought I thought devil horns, you know, like... Instead of, like, actual horns. <laughs> My bad. Mm -hmm.